Some 700,000 New Jersey residents like Donna DeStefano feel anxious about their health care. She just enrolled in Obamacare this month, even as the Trump administration moves to repeal it. Uh, I'm hoping to pay, you know, less. Um, I think we all have to wait and see. I, I just don't know. Donald Trump's first executive orders designed to unravel the ACA by loosening regulations, even as the Republican Congress works to repeal and replace it. Beyond that, details are are scant and Senate Democrats are spooked. If they with, re, re, repeal this, we will lose a billion dollars. It will cost us a billion dollars in our state budget. How we're going to pay pensions, we still have property taxes that we need to deal with, school funding. Those are three big issues that are the themes of our upcoming budget. And to now be hit with the, perhaps the repeal, the Affordable Care Act, will have a devastating impact on the budget of New Jersey. Lawmakers fear Congress will switch federal Medicaid funding from current unlimited coverage to basic block grants, just a chunk of money for each state to spend. And a Trump spokeswoman this weekend seemed to indicate that's the plan. Block grant Medicaid to the state, so people who are closest to those in need through Medicaid, which guarantees health insurance to the poor, that they will, that those who are closest to the people in need will be administering it. You really cut out the fraud, waste, and abuse and you get the help directly to them. New Jersey, here's your money, and good luck with that. Cover those you want to cover, cover don't cover those you can't. Uh, and what they're, they're really framing this as giving states independence, which is really code for we really don't care what you do, what, what happens to your people, because we're going to give you a defined bucket of money. It's not independence. It doesn't give us any real flexibility. We will have to get tighter and smarter, but also crueler, if it is that we have to cut enrollees from the program. People will get sicker and some people will die. Not to be alarmist about it, but people will die if they don't get access to their doctors and their medications. It's a very serious change and a very serious problem for our state. Advocates and lawmakers alike will lobby Governor Christie and New Jersey's congressional delegation to press Trump not to cut coverage, especially for the chronically ill and poor. Only two health insurers remain in New Jersey and continued uncertainty could chill the market even further. Because they try to predict what the risk is going to be. They don't know what the risks are going to be. And it does look like that they're not going to support the, the marketplace as they have in the past. And if that's the case, a lot of insurers are going to have second thoughts about participating. The Congressional Budget Office says repealing the ACA without immediately replacing it could send insurance premiums soaring 25 percent the first year alone. But nobody's got details or a timeline. In the newsroom, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.